Why have I got to do it? Why, why has it got to be me, man? Why, I don't just do all the people and they're going to stare at the thing and I know it's exciting, but why has it got to be me? <sighs> Fine. Ladies and gentlemen, we have new technology that I get to beta test tonight. The good news is you'll see future performers wearing this thing, doing incredibly amazing and dumb things. The bad news is they'll be doing it while looking like an extra from a Britney Spears video. During sound check, I noticed that I have a tendency to pace a lot. The photographers will have whiplash by the end of the evening. I am hereby granting you permission to tell me when I'm moving too much. We should come up with some sort of sudden, subtle signal. Freeze, freeze it shall be. So if I begin to pace around too much for you guys, and you say, and I'm just gonna keep pacing. Freeze. Oh, so you let me know for hammer time. Yes, that's very nice, thank you. Okay. I'm counting on you guys to help me get through this because it's a new experience. I'm, I'm not very good with those, as you know. I had one this weekend. Actually, I need Pilly. Can I have Pilly, please? I'm, I'm not, don't freeze me, I need Pilly. Pilly, I just want you here so you understand I'm, I'm gonna share something that, that goes to the outer limits of your tolerance. The outer limits, the very edge before you give us the buzz of doom. He's still smiling, so I'm gonna go. So, I was at a grocery store and I heard somebody say the words, and I will not, as long as I live, ever forget this. I don't like too much thinking. And of course, clearly, I misheard this. So I said, come again. And they said, I don't like too much thinking. Exactly the same way. It was not the phrase that bothered me. It was the conviction and commitment to those words that horrified me. Okay. That's as close as I'm going to get to Pillyland. Now I'm going to come reel it back and make you understand why. I have mentioned before that I have a genius switch and I have a birth defect on mine. There is no off position for it. I can't conceive of not t too much thinking. I don't know how to get there. I'd like to try it, you know, for five, six minutes at a time. Vodka gets me close, <laughs> but not quite. I don't actually get to too much thinking, so I don't. I never realized it was a choice. I always assumed it was sort of our, our, our genetic heritage, our birthright. You know, somewhere there were a bunch of primitive monkey men who went, hey, Bob, the floor looks interesting. Let's go check that out. And that's how we got here. Or that maybe somebody looked at a moldy sandwich and said, I bet that can cure an infection. Bravo to the first guy brave enough to actually eat that sandwich. Boredom does amazing things. Too much thinking does amazing things. I can only visualize that somewhere there were two aerospace engineers sitting on a back porch somewhere who said, you know, there's a spot on the moon and it's beginning to bug me. <laughs> Why don't we grab a crane and a truck and drop it up there and see what the hell the fuss is all about? And they did that last Saturday. <laughs> they actually did that. Clap for the geniuses. I am so grateful. I, I don't care. Hey, you know, I've heard stuff about, you know, what country did and all that. I don't care. I, I want to be in the state of smart. Wherever the state of smart is, it's where I want to go. I want to go be in that amazing place where I'm surrounded by people who are one part too much thinking and one part too much passion. And they don't know how to switch their minds off. And so they do amazing things. You wrecked my punchline. <laughs> Yes, that place every Monday where we try to switch our brains off, realize we can't, and instead are amazing, is the open stage. <laughs> <laughs>